Hey guys, Shadney back and I have just a little bit of a different kind of video for you today. Um, the other day I think I mentioned that I wasn't going to be doing another kit for a while or I wasn't going to work from another kit for a while and that was obviously a bold face lie because then I got really inspired to create another kit and so now I have another kit but this one I'm not going to be as strict about it as I was with the scrapbooking for beginners kit. I have a lot more stuff in this one. I'm not worried about using anything up or trying to get the most out of it or anything like that. I'm not worried about working on other from other papers or anything like that in between using the kit. I'm not going to work strictly from the kit but I will show you and go over the whole thing. It's kind of massive but I want to show you what I have planned. So this is a sequin mix from Miss Lula. Sorry, getting so tongue tied. Magical Mixery Store on Etsy. The color is Halloween Walkers. That's the pack, and it is all uh, these awesome. Um, if you can't see it very well, it's like purple mint, a like a pale kind of peachy orange. There's some holographic silver in there, and then black and white stripes and some black stars and hexagons and all sorts of stuff. I just love this whole mix very, very, very much. It makes me so happy and it's so Halloween to me. So from based on this kit, I mean, based on this sequin pack, I built a whole entire kit. <laughs> so I went a little crazy. Um, I'm going to go through and show you everything. It's going to maybe be a long video, but I am not going to, I'm going to try not to be too wordy about it. The first thing I pulled, um, was from Sweet Stories and it is the number paper. I just love that. That feels like Halloween to me with the cute little black numbers and the little stars. And then I also pulled in that one also from Sweet Story that has the hearts. Then I have this peachy orange wood grain paper. It is an old Cosmo Cricut from 2009. I have gone, I literally, okay, so when I went to make this kit, I went through my entire stash. I pulled everything from my entire stash. None of this that I'm showing you right this second is, any of it is from Halloween. It is all everyday scrapbooking supplies or there might even be some Christmas mixed in here every once in a while. Um, but it is not Halloween themed at all. I do have Halloween supplies that I'm also going to add to this, but I'm going to show you that at the very end. I'm going to show you right now what I pulled from my regular stash to make this really awesome, giant, huge kit. Um, all of these I pulled, I mean, no, I went through my entire stash, like I said, to get all of these papers, including all my paper pads, all my single page paper, um, the project pads, everything. So I have a ton. This, you can't tell, but it's like a orangey coral color, which is kind of perfect for Halloween because it looks like a pattern and like, my brain's not working. Um, like making Halloween costumes. So I thought that was really cute. And all I did was I went off of these colors. So I have a lot of black and white, obviously. And then I have mint, orange, and purple. And some of the orange is more orange. Some of it is more like this deep colored orange. Some of it's more peach. So there's like another peach one. But then I can mix and match through all the layouts. And you can kind of get a lot out of it. And then you have another one of those like deep kind of peachy oranges. And there's a ton of paper in this kit. So I'm just going to keep moving outward. Trying to move stuff so I don't run into it. There's some mint. Finally getting into some of the other colors. That one is a little deeper, but it works. This one is a Paige Evans and it really is a fall one. Um, but it wasn't Halloween themed, so I figured that counted. Uh, but I just thought I could fussy cut some of these leaves in the orange colors to kind of tuck in random places. Thank you. 
And this one, I love this one. I think I pulled the 6x6 for this one as well. And especially things like that, I feel like are a little bit spooky kind of looking because they are kind of vintage. And so stuff like that I tried to pull out as well. Um, I'm going to move those up there so you can still see them, but move on down here. Um, and I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm really excited about this whole thing. I have a ton of embellishments, just all sorts of fun stuff. I went through all my... 12 by 12 paper and pulled all of these out. I went through all my scraps and pulled stuff out. And then I also went through all my six by six and six by eight paper. I literally went through like every piece of paper I own in this entire room and looked to see what I could pull into this kit. But I'm super, super excited about it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I did pull in some more gray as well. I forgot to mention that. And, oh, that's what I was going to say a second ago. I was not worried about mixing whites and creams. You can see white, cream. This is kind of a cream. This is a cream, bright white. I did not worry about that. Um, that, for the most part, doesn't usually bother me. So I was not super careful about it. That one almost looks navy on there. That's weird. And then like this, I know is super old too. I don't know, maybe 2012. This one's Echo Park from Allison Craft, 2014. That. And some of my purples got a little bit more pink which is okay. I kind of mixed because like, you know, there's not a lot of options in purple in scrapbooking. So, but I just kind of did what I could with what I had. And now I kind of wish I had more of the all heart collection in 12 by 12 because I think those go really great in this kit. <laughs> this one's even a Felicity Jane. And this one's actually a baby collection. So you can see I was not super worried about where the paper came from, as long as it went with the color scheme and or the feeling of the whole kit. And some of them like don't exactly go with the color scheme because like that has more of that coral pink color in it, but I love the orange and I just thought it was a nice added color in there. And then of course no kit is finished without some wood grain. So pull some wood grain in there. I love this one too. I think this is great for this for Halloween. It looks like a letter board, but I thought that would be really fun. I am almost at the end. We're getting there. This is one I ordered on Amazon and it's this one. It's double sided. I got a 25 pack for like eight bucks. So I just thought that was a really good neutral. That would go with a lot of things, but especially this kit would go great. And then the black and cream works really well. Some cork, which is really nice. This is a more little bit more yellow, but it's still it's closer to this orange. It's just that really bright fun orange. Some more mint. These are just cameras. Something pretty universal. You can tie into almost anything. A little bit more peach colored there. This one, I wish I had so many more pages of this. This is also Sweet Story. Um, it is like my favorite paper right now. I've been hoarding it, not using it, because I don't want to waste it. But I have a couple sheets. I just wish I had a whole pack. So keep going. Some more mints. And then these last ones from this orange down are all from a Heidi Swap um, paper pack. And that is all for the 12 by 12 paper. I do also have some scraps. I have, this is from All Hearts. It looks like that on the other side, which some of those might be usable, but I really like this craft. Some black and white polka dot. That is a Vicky Booten, and I love that. It's 
just it looks like craft with some text printed on it there's some more purple this purple is much more this color but it's very hard to find almost like a periwinkle but not quite that's a felicity jane it's got just a little bit left of it. I've been kind of hoarding that as well. I loved this orange. It's almost this exact color. It goes with that one really well. And that was ripped out of a Smash album from Simple Stories. Some music notes and some grid. Some more grid. Some text. That's Felicity Jane. Um, some purple. And this is from, this is an old one too, from the Little Girl Collection from Echo Park. It's probably, again, like 2012 or something. A little scrap of mint, a little scrap of text. This looks like, um, almost looks like a phone book page. Some more purple, and that one kind of goes, it's not as good as that one. And then there's another scrap of that one. And then the 6x6, six six and 6x8, six well 6x8 first, I guess six by eight so the, that is from bloom street this is from hooray from crate paper that one's also from hooray um that one is from that one i just used not that long ago i have another copy of it chamel's um head in the clouds and i really i'm excited about that shelf one because i want to cut it apart like fussy cut it and turn it into like Halloween shelves like with potions and stuff mixed in I thought that would be really cute um, that one is from a Maggie Holmes collection this one's Vicki Booten more cameras I love this one um, paper something paper it's, uh, what's her name? Paige Evans, but I can't remember what it's called. And then these are Heidi Swap from her new color story, no, story, chapter, stories, storyline chapters. Um, these are Maggie Holmes Heritage. And then that one, I think that one is the summer one, the Maggie Holmes summer paper. And this is from that baby collection that is up here somewhere. I don't know where. That is a crepe paper, but I can't remember which one. This one is from that one. And that one. These I don't remember as well because they're older ones that I haven't had as long. I mean, I've had longer. I love the frames. I thought those could be really cute. I also have frames up here somewhere. I don't know, up there. But they're more like of a, a soft black, like a gray. But you can see nothing really like quite completely goes together. It all just kind of ties together with the sequins. And obviously I'm not going to use every single page on every single page. So it's totally fine. There's that one that matches that one up there. But you can kind of mix and match to get a bunch out of this. I thought this one was kind of cool. It almost looks like spider webs. It's like a flourish pattern, but it almost looks like spider webs. And that purple is really pretty. So there's just a good variety here. And I love those stars are perfect. So there's that. There's all the paper. It's a lot. It's a lot of paper. Um, the next thing I was going to show you is the thickers that I pulled out for it. Um, the first ones I pulled out were these. I thought those were really cute. And they um, are that holographic white that kind of go with this. We've got some mint. Again, I've pulled out a lot for this kit. There is some black. I went more silver and holographic than anything, but there are little bits of gold that you can tie together if you wanted to. There's that peachy, um, I think it's, oh, it's orange. These are supposed to be orange. They're from Simple Stories, the color vibes, some old thickers, 
some more old Dear Lizzy thickers. These I think still are at Hobby Lobby. Here is some, the white tiny foam stickers. There's another package of them that is open. And then this one that is white on one side and black on the other. These I just got at Joanne's not that long ago. But I loved the treble on this because I, and then the double, because I thought I could do the double, double toil and treble. I thought that would be really cute. <laughs> so there's that. And then these have like a peachy side to them. If you can, you might be able to see that very well. Um, so I thought those could tie in really well. And then of course, just some plain black, tiny tile letters, and then some purple. And that purple is like that exact color as well, which is nice. And then the last one, I have these and I love them. I bought two packages, I think. I think there's two in here. Um, they're just striped, like thickers, but they come loose in a, like a blister pack. But um, I just thought those were super cute and I never think to use them. So I thought that could be a good thing to kind of pull in and use. Um, I will go into these guys. These are tiny, text words from Tim Holtz. They're silver. There's gold ones in this pack too, but I pulled the silver to the top so that we could use the silver. And then I also pulled out the snarky, tiny type, small talk, whatever it's called. <laughs> and then these guys, I just thought a lot of these corally, peachy, orangey colors could go really well. That's all for Tiny Words. The next thing I pulled in was this Carpe Diem pack. It's all um, tabs and hole reinforcers and just cute little things like that. It's got a lot of the purple and the labels. I mean, the purple and the mint and then the black and white. Then these are from the Hooray sticker pack and they're just silver glitter hearts and stars. I thought those would be really great for this. There's a couple little glassine bags just to add in for some layering. Some clear stars from Studio Calico. Um, Head in the Clouds stars. I thought these kind of periwinkle color and then the mint colors would be great. And these are the ones I just used for the last kit, but those orange ones will be perfect for this. And then I pulled in, a, I had two packs of that one, so I pulled in another pack to pull in more. And it also has some mint in it as well. But those all have to be careful because they do have gold. Um, the Brad part, oh, I guess I'm going out of camera over here. Okay, I'll move back up here. Um, they do have gold around the edges, so I wanna be careful by using those. These are mermaid ones, but there's purple and some peachy orange in there. And then I also have these. These are from Angie Tangerine. They're super, super old. Um, 2013. But I thought the black ones could go really well. Some Felicity Jane borders, especially that black scallopy circly one, the star one, and the hearts. I really like those for this. Some Lawn Fawn tags, just the oranges and the peach, I mean the oranges and the aqua color look great for this, or coordinate great for this. Um, also from Lawn Fawn, they usually send you like a thank you gift if you order enough stuff. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but Every once in a while, um, when I order, they'll send me a free little item in the package. So these are just cork arrows with little silver pieces on them. Enamel dots, and they all have, there's a bunch of mint and those purple colors in there. Some more Chanel, this is box of crowns, and just the orange and no, the orange and the mint turquoise kind of color would be great for that. And I can tie other colors in. I can tie those yellow in. I can tie the pink in. Stuff like that. It's totally fine. Um, it's just whatever you prefer. I was just trying to build it mostly around this color scheme. These 
are ones I ordered. I think I showed them in a haul like a couple months ago. Rachel Babel on Etsy. Um, they're just, these are the matte stickers. They're really thin. They're for planners, but I just thought they would be good for this little sprinkly bits. There's the mint and there's a couple colors of purple. And then the last couple of bits, I have some purple hearts like those um, Dollar Tree ones that I used in the last kit. Some more Lawn Fawn. These are, you can't tell very well, but they're glittery. Just white and black glittery hearts. There are some little, um, they're metal. They're like a deep silver metal hearts. And the same thing for stars. They're little metal, black metal stars. Another freckled fawn. I keep saying lawn fawn. I mean freckled fawn this whole time. Every time I say that, I'm I'm trying to say freckled fawn, not lawn fawn. Um, just some little clips. This was another thank you gift in a different order. But just the black and white. I think they'll work really well for that. You can't see it over there. And then craft and purple photo corners. And then I'm almost done. I promise it's, I'm not, maybe not as done as I think. There's just a few little bits in here. There's some mint colored doilies. I pulled a frame out and a little wood piece. There's a little craft pocket. These are some printables from Inky Quill. If you join her Patreon, you get free printables. There is a color cast designs little piece. Um, these are just, these are the, um, those stickers from Target. Just some plain silver rhinestones. And then these are little cork pieces. They're supposed to be like furniture pads, like you put underneath your furniture. I think I got them at Dollar Tree like a long, long, long time ago. Um, but I like to add them in and then just stick something over the top of it, like stick a little star over the top and it makes a cute little embellishment. And I put all of these on these trays because it was just easier to kind of sort things that way. Um, I put a couple little wood houses in there because trick-or-treating. Um, Whimsy Fox stuff in here. There are some felt hearts and coordinating colors. These are these uh, marble colored vellum, but they're the little sprinkly bits. So there's hearts and stars and little um, asterisks in there. These are numbers. I thought those I could incorporate in there as well. And they're just a gray and black and white uh, marble as well and some little stitched labels in colors that coordinate with this. And then Scrub and Happy Studio, I pulled out all the colors that coordinate with this. This whole pack has a lot of orange and mint and like that peach. And then I pulled, these are all from different packs as well and just pulled out ones that coordinate. And then these are from Humble and Creates Etsy shop. And I think they went with like a fall collection or something, something more, like a little bit more Christmassy. They're almost like a coral color, but they're still kind of orange. So I thought they could coordinate really well in there. And they're just metal flare. And then the all my tiny sprinkly bits. They're so fun. <laughs> so um, these are buttons I've ordered a while back from AliExpress. They're just a mix of different colors. I just pulled out all the gray, black, orange, and purple ones. These are from that Michael's um, impulse section. They're like the white ones I used in the last kit. These are Tim Holtz little crystal gemstone looking hearts. I have stars too, but I think I've used either all of them. I've either used all of them or I've lost the rest of them. Um, and then I have some just plain wood veneer stars, the cutout ones and the regular ones. Um, these are also ones I've ordered on AliExpress before. Um, You, they're super cheap, like a couple dollars, and you get a big pack of them, but you have to wait forever for them to get here. I know a lot of people really don't like ordering from AliExpress, and I totally get why, because there is a lot of copyright infringement issues with that, um, when you're especially getting stamps and stuff like that. But things that are very basic, like this, that I could buy anywhere, I don't feel bad getting, like, wood veneer pieces and stuff, especially when a lot of basic wood veneer pieces I feel like are kind of hard to get here in the States. Um, 
these are really old studio calico chipboard stars there's like a dark gray and then there's one orange one left these little buttons are from hobby lobby and they're just black and white polka dot some of them are just plain black and some are just plain white but they have the polka dots they're just tiny they're really cute and then these are also from hobby lobby they're that big divided pack from the bead section i just pulled that iridescent white in there and then the last things i pulled i'm just going to pull this whole thing over here because it's easier um as i pulled some washi tape in in just those same colors i pulled these punches there's a heart and a star they're just a good little not quite an inch big pieces I also pulled in this punch that has a whole bunch of different star sizes and shapes. This whole punch, you can't see it very well. There we go. Um, it's like a little plus sign or a little X. I just think it's a cute little sprinkly bit that I can add in. So go ahead and pull in my newest border punch that I haven't used very much yet. And that's all the punches. I pulled in some silver bow bunny glitter paste, which I thought could be kind of fun. And then some purple and mint baker's twine and some dilutions orange paint, squeezed orange paint. I haven't used it yet, so I thought that could be super fun to use. And then I've got some Nuvo drops. I have gloss ebony black, glitter drops summer sunrise, Lilac Whisper, the Glitter Drops, the Vintage um, Peachy Keen, which is like this exact color. Whenever it dries, it's awesome. Dragon Scales is a Dream Drops. And Moon Dust, Silver Moon Dust is another Glitter Drops. And then um, Mist, I pulled in a Shimmer Dilutions White Shimmer Spray a mint green color shine if you look on a cherry on top i did just find there is several heidi swap color shines still in stock there you just have to look for them um, and there's not a lot left but there are some i ordered a couple like a few weeks back um, and i'm waiting for them to get they should get here tomorrow i think and or tomorrow when i'm doing this video not tomorrow for you guys um <laughs> But I do have a purple that's coming that I'm really excited to pull into this kit as well. Um, there is Shaded Lilac is a Distress Oxide Spray. Cracked, blah, blah, sorry, Cracked Pistachio, an Oxide Spray. And Dried Marigold is an Oxide Spray. A lot of Oxide Sprays, sorry. And Wild Honey is a brand new one that I haven't even used yet, but it's nice and orange. Then I also pulled in a Distress Resist Spray that hasn't been even used yet. I'm excited to try that. And a Dilutions Shimmer Spray. This color is Laid Back Lilac. So that is pretty much it. No, that is it. That is all. <laughs> that is all I have for this kit. Um, but I'm going to show you really quickly what I have left of my Halloween. Actually, let me show you how I'm sword storing things real quick um just so you know these obviously are just stored like this there are trays that stack together i'm sure you've seen them on other people's pages they are from target these are the five by nine i think size six by nine seven by nine and they're a dollar piece they're called something tray lids or box lids or something like that they're in the bathroom section at target they have four by six size as well but these size were just better for this kit and they stack together really nice which is cool um all of these little embellishment pieces i am just storing in here just like that oh and i forgot to mention i have some brads that i pulled out just some mixed brads they're just basic like colors and stuff Then my alpha thickers, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with them yet. I need to find a container to put these in. This is one thing I haven't decided yet. And then all my paper, my 
is going in this. It, I believe, is from Target from several years ago. Um, but it is wide enough for 12 inch paper. And I am just putting all my six by six and six by eight paper in the front here. Maybe if I can get it all picked up. So it can just go in like that or on its side. And then the rest of this can go in the back. And I do have a piece of like some chipboard in this here because I don't want my paper to like kind of bend backwards over time. So whenever I order paper from any online shops and they send the thick chipboard in there with it, I always save those to put in and layer together so that my paper doesn't bend. So this is gonna be super easy to keep all contained, hopefully, in my mind, at least that's what I'm telling myself. And then that's it. Oh, I'm moving the whole camera, so sorry. There's that. We're at about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Halloween stuff that I have still left over so that, that I'm going to incorporate as well. Um, but that is, everything I've shown you so far is non-Halloween themed. It's like basic everyday scrapbook supplies. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Halloween supplies, but I do have a good amount. These um, are Echo Park chipboard pieces. This is from Dollar Tree. I mean, no, Tuesday morning. Um, the Crepe Paper Happy Pumpkin, no, Hey Pumpkin collection. I loved Hey Pumpkin. So I have a lot of Hey Pumpkin and I might've ordered a little bit more to come in this year. Um, I have, like I mentioned, a lot of Hey Pumpkin left. I have some skeletons. Th those aren't, these aren't Hey Pumpkin right now. There's that is Happy Haunting from Simple Stories. And I love the bats. I thought they were super cute. This is just some old doodle bug. That is some old jelly bean soup. 2012. 2012. Old doodle bug as well. And then the rest of this is Hey, P hey Pumpkin <clears throat> paper. Um, just all the scraps. And this is my absolute favorite paper out of that whole kit is that peachy and orange and I have a lot more of that coming not a lot more I have like three sheets of it coming because I love that paper then I have some more Tuesday morning stickers and they are that nice orange color that'll go well these do have some gold accents in them and again I'm just gonna mix and match so that some layouts have gold and some have silver like all the hay pumpkin stuff is all silver or holographic, so it kind of works out okay. These are thickers that are orange foam with black glitter on top. <clears throat> These are black foam thickers with gold across the top. And then these are the hay pumpkin alphabet stickers, alphabet thickers. They're black and they have a holographic line down the middle. I did also order a Hey Pumpkin 6x8 paper pad that I didn't have last year. And then I, this is also from Tuesday morning. And then these are things I got at the end of the season last year, um, at the end of Halloween, in the Target dollar spot. And there's some black, it's like a deep silver um, letter stickers. I got two packages of those some color in stickers, some little puffy stickers that are on silver, and some little tiny stickers. Not all of them are foiled, but I really love the stars. I thought those are cute, and then those little guys are cute. They're just a lot. Some of them are printed off. Like, you can see where it's cut and where it's printed is completely different, but some of them are really good. So there are those. This is an older doodle bug pumpkin party paper pad I've had for a while. Um, some pebbles brads, some older ones, as well as the sequins. 
These are foam shapes from, oh, here's another one. I think I got these at Walmart last year, like at the end of the season. On clearance. These are Hobby Lobby. I need to go get some more of these because these are my favorite. They're like a chunky black glitter and they're bats. Um, Pebbles old um, puppy stickers. These are the Hobby Lobby. Um, they're clear stickers, but they're the L LOL girls. I love her little, um, what's it called? Candy corn on her shirt. It's so cute. I also got these are from Hobby Lobby in the crafts section and these and I got those at the end of the season as well so there is all of that so all that other stuff plus all of this I think I have a pretty good kit built out here <laughs> so that is it that's all I wanted to show you again I'm not going to use this all at the same time um, or in a row I'm just going to work from it a little bit at a time throughout probably until Christmas stuff starts happening. Um, I do love Halloween. India loves dressing up and loves Halloween. So we try to do a lot of fun Halloween stuff every year. So I do have quite a few photos that I can still document from years past. And we're gonna jump in and have so much fun. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit like and leave me a comment and like, and blah, blah, sorry, again. And subscribe if you want to see more videos, especially me working from this kit. So thank you. Have a wonderful day and happy scrapping. Bye.